Now, as uh, watches start to be posted for portions of the Florida coastline, we're now in the action phase. We now need people to start taking action. Um, some evacuation orders have been ordered by emergency officials in the impacted area, and there's more to come, um, probably later today. And uh, I, I want to stress that if you're ordered to evacuate, that you, you must comply with those evacuation instructions. Um, so many times we see people second guess uh, emergency managers and evacuation uh, instructions and, uh, and it often uh, costs them dearly. Um, the portion of the coastline that is uh, expected to be impacted, um, there's two things that concern me. First and foremost, it hasn't had a major hurricane impact in a long, long time. So we have a lot of coastal residents that probably don't have a ton of experience with uh, major hurricanes. Um, also, this portion of the coastline, the west coast of Florida, is incredibly vulnerable to storm surge, very, very vulnerable to storm surge. Um, and this is the quintessential case of not focusing on the exact track, because we won't have to have the track make or the center make a, a direct hit for there to be significant storm surge along the Florida west coast. Um, we're indicating the potential the potential for as much as is 10 feet of storm surge um, in portions of the Florida West Coast. If you need a reference to what 10 feet of storm surge looks like, this pole here, that would be about to the top of that pole to give you a reference uh, of what um, it could look like. And this pole is colorized to reflect our um, forecast products so that you can get a sense of what uh, those forecasts mean.